And you got involved in the GA? I did, I got involved. Well, I was involved in the GA, uh, but um, how will I put it? Um, I really started playing, and then I was playing when I was at six, 17. I started, I was on the cross my team, but won the junior championship, won the senior, and then in 1947, I was 18, so we were in the, playing in the minor. Uh, Mayo, Mayo minor, minor team, yeah. team, and we got to the All Ireland, yeah. and uh, we played Tyrone in the minor All Ireland, and it was the only year it wasn't played before the senior, okay. because the senior was played in New York that year, and uh, um, so uh, then uh, uh, I got involved. Uh, then two years afterwards, um, I was on the. Believe it or not, that was 94, but we all were in the All Ireland in 1948. They played Cavern. And I went to Dublin, I had no ticket, but I remember going up, getting up on the railway wall, watching the. Uh, climbed up on it. Climbed up on it. For free. But I, for free. And I remember a guard, I, was, I had no ticket, a guard coming along through the ma- in the middle of the match, and we had to get down. And of course, uh, when you saw a guard that time, you were afraid of it. You know what you were told. But I'll tell you, I ran back to Barry's Hotel before the senior game and Father Eddie O'Hare was there and I knew him from from uh, the previous year being on the minor team and I just said any hope and he put his hand in his pocket and gave me a ticket and I <laughs> never forget it that was a miracle a miracle, a miracle yeah. and back and I remember I had a sandwich and I was under the Cusick stand and uh, uh, there wasn't a happier man in, in, in Ireland <laughs> the only thing is the win no no, I didn't win. Well, you weren't that happy. One home, but anyway, um, and did you play much after that yourself? Oh, I did. Yeah. Well, then in uh, nineteen mm. in the All Ireland team of fifty one, they won the All Senior All Ireland. I was uh, um, a sub on that team, but I won a Junior All Ireland in nineteen fifty. Stan Mellet, I remember from the Neil, was the captain. Mick's brother. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stan was the captain. We won the. the um, Junior All Ireland in '50. Uh, you see, it it was uh, first and uh, the, the junior team was the continuation of the senior. There was no uh, that you had to play club football at junior level. It was the second best team. So uh, we I remember speaking London in the final. So then uh, the senior, I was sub on the team in '51, and then in '57 I captained the team to win the uh, All Ireland, and uh, we had a good few. Um, uh, games in those in, in those times and uh, 57 with Cross Milan I won a few championships and when I went to when I came to college as I was saying to you yeah. uh, my time we won three cigars three cigars in your time three three was, it was a great performance time, yeah, yeah. But, what uh, position you used to be in then I think it was the greatest I told you I said it before it it got you to know every fellow in the yeah, college. Yeah, yeah, it was a great uh, introduction to the You became a star. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's how <laughs> it Personality. Then I hurt yeah. myself. And one uh, day I was asked would I referee a game. I was asked a game, a local game, and the ref and so I did. So that led me on to um, uh, referee a minor and two senior all Irelands and so on. And uh, with the minor, believe it or not, I was in New York when I got the word about it. So I flew back, and I says, I'm not going to say, I flew back from New York, and the minute the minor was on, there was a taxi waiting for me and brought me to the airport again and back to New York that evening. Uh, yeah. I didn't wait for the senior game. A fair bit, but yeah. anyways, I found that uh, uh, they being involved in the refereeing was, refereeing was another great thing. But the only thing, an awful lot of people thought my sight wasn't too good. <laughs> the decisions weren't going their way, were they? <laughs> So how did you get involved in the admin side then? In the admin side, I was. Uh, I, I remember Johnny Mulvey. He was here in Castlebar. Johnny asked me, would I um, uh, go on uh, con- con- council? Um, uh, uh, there, there was two men on it, Sean Flanagan and Henry Kenny. And with the politics, they, they, didn't, they couldn't attend a lot of times. So they said, you should uh, get on. So anyways, I, I took over from... Uh, Henry Kinney, and, and uh, that's how I got in. So I was on the Connor Council. I remember Johnny Mulvey saying to me, uh, I was only five or six uh, uh, meetings a year. I know what I said to him. I, I said, uh, uh, later life, I know what your five or six meetings turned into. <laughs> so I was 15 or 16 years on the Connor Council, and then I was uh, elected uh, chairman of the Connor Council, which meant that you were a vice chairman of the uh, national body. And then it came to an election, and uh, I was uh, like the president. Yeah. president. 
of the All Ireland. Yeah, the the All Ireland. I took, I what was, year was that? I was. I, I can never forget it. I was elected mm-hmm. in centenary year. Yeah, okay, well, it was a great year, wasn't it? Yeah, and then I year. took over the next year. So, oh, okay. So, uh, big job, is this? Uh, big job. Big job. Travel, travel the world. That travel the world. Yeah. yeah, really. Was that the Australian rules and Canada and America so many times with the All Stars and referee and so it, it was a, honestly it was a, a great involvement. And did you get any time to work? I don't know how it Honestly, I don't know how I did things. I got an assistant in all right and uh, this practice. But I often think, and I did do a fair bit of work with you with it. Uh, you know, yeah. But at that time, I thought you worked Saturdays but, uh, and Sundays. Now everything. you see the president takes, uh, it's a full-time job. Full-time. He, he uh, resigns or uh, takes uh, absence from his uh, part of a job. He's and he gets a stipend as well. Yeah, yeah and, uh, so that's how it has changed. So you appeared at All-Ireland presentations and handed out yeah. cups and trophies? I, the, I often think I had the uh, honour of playing in the minor, playing in the junior, and a sub senior All-Ireland, a referee in the minor, referee in the uh, junior, referee in the senior, and then presentation the cups at the minor, junior and senior. Really? It was, uh, you know... And how long did that post last for? How long did you hold the post? For? One three year, years. three years, oh, three, 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 three years. Oh, yeah, three yeah. years. Big commitment, yeah. And um, I, uh, did you do any any development on the in your time there now? No, in my in my time, uh, what we focused very much on was developing clubs. Clubs, so, yeah. And uh, mm. because the clubs were weak, uh, they were, so we concentrated. Uh, we said we Paddy Buggy was my predecessor, so we got into it, and then uh, clubs got all their facilities. You know, a lot of it started. And for the club we um, got into at that time, okay. uh, very much focused on it. Mm. They keep bringing in other fellows to go on the rules and so on. So you took a stand in alcohol? I did. How did the stand in alcohol come about? No, I was reared in a pub. Mm. <laughs> I, I never drank uh, that. But, and, uh, but, and then, but I was appointed coroner in 1970. I remember there was, uh, it was advertised. And so I thought I should have enough to do. But anyway, I went for an interview. Mm. There was a few in for it. But anyways, I got it. That was in 1970. And it was when I was at that, I noticed the, that inquest, the number of deaths related to the outcome, and what it used to do, to, to, how families were torn by it. It's, it's a self and suicide. Suicide I went through my records, and 45% of each related to our cause. Yeah, yeah. And then, as you know, yourself as GP, looking at families, I started to look at them more Destroyed. and see what was happening in families besides. Mm. That's what focused my attention to alcohol, and I took a fairly strong stand on it. You took a lot of criticism. I did. 13 years I didn't go to the Holland final because it was sponsored by a drinks company. So and did you get pressure over that? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. pressure over it. So. Mm. But, and uh, thank God. The, the no sponsorship, no no, no drink no, sponsorship. No. Well, it's not that long gone, is it? No, two years. Uh, two years, uh, yeah. Two or three years, yeah. And the Hurling was the last one, was it? Uh, yeah, the Hurling. Yeah. The Hurling was the last yeah. one, yeah. yeah.